Hi guys, good afternoon. I'm Trista Cowley McGlory, one of the agents on the My Fence Crew team at Bridge Realty, and I'm so excited because today I'm at another new listing. Today I'm at 507 East 200 North. Let me flip this around and show you this adorable cottage style home. We are great location, North Price, um, close to Pinnacle School, close to shopping. So today I am at this house. It is a total of 1,025 square feet. It does have a one car garage. You're gonna be surprised what you see in there. Home was built in 1939, but the effective day, which is if you were to walk in right now, it would feel far more like it was built in 2018 because all of the updates this home has to offer starting off with this porch. They recently rebuilt this um, deck within about the last year. It is sturdy, it looks good, it is weather safe. Also, they have new windows throughout the home. The windows have all been updated. Hi Karen, hi Belva. So check out this home. I'm gonna tell you a whole list of things they've updated. It might take the entire time. Here's the dining space, hi Sandra. And it opens with this archway into the living space. They do have new um, luxury vinyl tile flooring. Again, new windows throughout the home. Home has been recently painted. The electrical has all been updated. The plumbing has all been updated. The furnace and central or swamp cooler, I apologize, are all fairly new, still have a lot of life left. This entire kitchen has been redone. Check out these cabinets, the countertops. What do you think of that yellow? I think people either love it or it's not for them. Personally, I love it. I think it was bold. Hi, Janet. So guys, today I'm at 507 East, 200 North in price. I'm at a two bedroom, one bath home. Completely updated, asking price is $225. Wait till we get to the backyard. The backyard is like the shining gem of this home. The home's incredible, but the backyard definitely stands on its own. So then right through the kitchen is the laundry. They are taking the washer and dryer. Those are not included in the cell. However, there is some storage over here and this wood burning stove. It currently works, they use it in the winter and it heats them far better than anything else ever would. Plus it's cheaper, right? So I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of this backyard. Check it out. Hi, Virginia. That black tarp is where the previous owner had an incredible, amazing, beautiful garden and they wanted to keep the soil as rich as she had it. So they covered it up for now. Her garden actually went clear through the fruit trees. So back there, they have peach, plum, pear, apricot, and apple fruit trees. Hi, Nikki. They also have grapes growing along on the vine along the fence. So I'm gonna take you to the other side of the home. Here is the brand new updated bathroom. Check this thing out. Look what an incredible job they did in here. Has a walk-in shower. That tile work is definitely something to pay attention to. It's incredible. New doors throughout the new interior doors. Most of them have been updated. Here is the first bedroom. Again, electrical is updated. Plumbing is all updated to PEX. The appliances are all new. They are taking the fridge, but they are willing to give the buyer a credit for whatever fridge they'd like. And then this is the second bedroom. So they do connect, you easily could put a door here. They've taken it off because they don't need the door there and it's their office. Um, but you easily could put a door back there and then both bedrooms have their own entrance so you do not have to walk through one to get to the other. Big closets. Let me give you a view of the bedroom. This is a really good sized bedroom. Hi, Scott. So again, guys, today I'm at 507 East, 200 North in price. 
I am at a two bedroom, one bath home, asking price is $225, but that does include this incredible backyard, the single car garage, which I'm gonna show you right now. It includes the greenhouse and two water shares to keep that greenhouse or to keep the yard looking as incredible as it does. So they obviously don't park in their garage. They use it for their workout spot. They have just laid this carpet down. It is not attached. You could remove it. You could use it the same way. It is just a great extra space in this home. There is storage up above and it does go into the backyard. The garage door is fully functioning. So if you wanted to pull your car in here, you definitely could. They actually recently replaced the motor. So it does have a new motor, it is working. And then let me take you to the backyard. Because like I said, that is like the sparkling gem of this house. So just listen how quiet you can hear the birds chirping. They have this little patio section right here where you can have your furniture, your your camp chef as he has, your barbecue, whatever. It is fully fenced back here. So check out this yard, guys. You could have, it's sectioned separately now, so you can have part of it for enjoying your lawn and then the garden could be completely separate. So as I said before, this section is what they decided to save of the previous owner's garden. She had an incredible garden and actually they just told me that they still have horseradish and corn growing up back here because that's how incredible her garden was. It will likely continue to grow a little bit for years, but they wanted to save the soil that was under here. So they covered it in hopes that whoever wants to purchase it will love the garden as much as the previous owner did. So back here they have pear, plum, peach, apricot, and apple trees and like I said there are two high water water shares included in the purchase check out this yard guys and along this fence they have grapes growing isn't that incredible here's the garden spot and the little greenhouse there's not many places right here in town that have this size of yard this incredible of a garden spot and a greenhouse so at the back of the home, there is a little storage shed. That white door goes into the garage. That's where you can access the backyard from the garage. Check out this flower that's blooming right now. Isn't that beautiful? It's so vibrant and bright. So for those of you who are just joining, I am at two, or 507 East, 200 North in price. The total square footage of the home is 1,025. Upstairs is 950. Downstairs is 475. Hi, Janet. Um, the downstairs is about 10% finished. It does have a cement floor. There's a ton of storage down there, and that is where the furnace and water heater are, which is pretty typical. So I'm going to run you back through the home again from the back. This is the laundry space. It is a, um, electric dryer hookup. They're taking the washer and dryer, but the hookup is there for electrical. Then check out this fully redone kitchen from the floor to the ceiling, including the walls, the electrical, the plumbing, everything in this kitchen is only within a couple of years old. Check it out. The storage right there beside, they definitely thought it out when they did this kitchen. I love these little shelves that they're utilizing for their spices. That's adorable. This floor throughout is the luxury vinyl tile. It looks incredible in the home. Then you walk into the living room. Again, new windows, new flooring, new paint. Two bedroom, one bath home, Northeast price. Asking price is $225. That does include the incredible backyard, the garden area, and two water shares to keep it growing and keep it as wonderful as it is right now. 
here is one of two bedrooms. And the other bedroom, this bedroom is really good sized. With a really good sized closet. Okay, then let me show you that backyard one more time because it deserves it. So garden area, cute little greenhouse, so many fruit trees plus grapes. And it comes with water shares, guys. That is a pretty great deal. So if you're interested in this house or any of the other ones on the market, give me a call today. Or anyone on the Mike Metzger team, we would be more than happy to help you. And if you know of anyone looking for a home, share this. Feel free to share it with anyone and everyone. Hi, Mike. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.